Hi everybody! I prepared a short flow for you guys today. It's actually a flow progression and um, it will focus on standing balancing postures. This is going to be good for those who don't have an hour or 75 minutes or 90 minutes in their day to practice. Um, if this goes as planned, it would probably go around 30 minutes. So it's a nice and short um, practice that you can use to just really get the breath going and to raise the heart rate a little bit. And of course, as with any practice, we're going to be beginning with some warming up and we're going to move towards a cool down sequence and end with Shavasana. So I hope you guys enjoy and just breathe with me. Let's start. So we're going to begin in a seated posture. You can sit here in a thunderbolt with your toes pointing back. You can also tuck your toes under if you wish to, if this position is uncomfortable. And you can rest your hands on your knees. And go ahead and shrug the shoulders up, back, and down a couple of times. Let's just release all of that physical tension from the body. You can even move your head around, swinging it from side to side, or, or rotating it clockwise and then counterclockwise. And when you feel that you've shaken all of that tension, or at least most of the tension away from the body, you can begin to find stillness. And just rest your hands on your thighs, sit up nice and tall, and then close your eyes. And all together, let's breathe. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. I want you to feel the breath progress as well. Inhaling a little longer than usual, filling all the way up to the collarbones and to the base of the throat. And once you've filled up, go ahead and exhale with control all the way down to the base of the pelvis. And then just continue this rhythmic flow in the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And you almost want it to feel as if your breath is cradling you. So this is a very nice and soothing feeling that you want to create for yourself at the beginning of your practice. Now as the mind begins to quiet down and as the body starts to really find stillness, Go ahead and really occupy the space that you're in, that area within the four corners and four walls of your mat. And I want you to really be able to claim that space. Be in it. And now I invite you to bring your palms together in front of your heart center. And go ahead and bow down the forehead to the fingertips. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice today. Your intention can be something as wild and as crazy as you'd like it to be, or something as simple as just being able to get through the next 30 minutes of your practice today. Once that intention has been set, go ahead and bring your head back to center, blink the eyes open, and on your next inhale, reach the arms out and up. Let the palms touch, and exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Again, inhale the arms up, and exhale the hands to the heart. And one more time, moving slowly and mindfully, inhale, and exhale the hands to the heart. Now let's come into tabletop position. So go ahead and find all fours. Make sure those fingers are spread nice and wide with the index fingers pointing straight ahead. And let's go ahead and engage the arms. So see if you could straighten the arms without really locking them, but rather just really engaging. Toes point back, hips are stacked above the knees, the way the elbows are stacked above the wrists and the shoulders are stacked above the elbows. Now take a few breaths in cat and cow here. Lifting the frontal hip bones up and really knitting those ribs in. And when you're ready to on your next inhale, let the belly lower, the tail lift and the 
heart move forward, gazing up into your cow. Now, as you exhale, round the back, tuck the tail, and draw the chin into the chest, really rounding the upper back into cat. Again, inhale, moving the cow, arching the spine, lifting the gaze, bringing the heart forward through the gates of the shoulders. And then exhale and round the back into cat. Now feel free to start to move at the pace of your breath. So just make sure that when you inhale in the cow, you're initiating that movement with your breath. And the same goes when you come into cat. So you're initiating the rounding of the back with that exhale. And then just take another breath cycle. And as you find that exhale and your cat, slowly find your way back to neutral. And just take another inhale here and an exhale. Now let's go ahead and move into our flow progression. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, downwards facing dog. Now once you come up the downwards facing dog, go ahead and just walk in place. And feel free to move whichever way you'd like to move right now. So you can lift your legs up one at a time. Maybe even spin those hips open. Just really getting to know the body. It's amazing how we get to know the body just by staying in down dog and moving in down dog. Now when you're ready to go ahead and find stillness, make sure to ground the feet. Those toes are pointing in at a slight angle. And make sure to also ground the hands and see if you can press more into the knuckles and the space between the index finger and thumb. So you're not arresting most of your weight on the base of your wrist. And just breathe here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now let's bring the feet together. And on the inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky in a three-legged downwards facing dog. Now make sure that those hips op don't open up this way. I want you to actually lower that right outer hip down to keep those hips more symmetrical and more parallel. Now take one more breath in here, kicking back through the heel. As you exhale, draw the knee into the nose and with control, step that right foot forward between the hands. Now lower the right knee down, uncurl the back toes, and reach both arms up overhead. Anjaneyasana. So as you reach the arms up, go ahead and bring your hands to your hips and just kind of, you know, move those hips in place. You want those outer hips to really hug in, and you want to be able to find that stability in the pelvis. And just breathe here, inhale. And exhale, when you're ready to, you can reach both arms up overhead, breathe in, and breathe out. Now shift the gaze up and see if you can lift through the upper back, inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead and twist, arms out to a T, looking towards your right side. Now if you wish to modify this, you can always hold on to that right outer knee and use that to deepen the twist as you shift your gaze towards that right hand. So you can be here or be here. And stay and breathe for three. And two. And one. Now gaze forward. Windmill the hands down to the floor. Tuck the back toes under. In your low lunge. Now keeping the sternum forward, step that right foot back to plank pose. And from plank, lift the hips up. Downwards facing dog. Breathe, inhale. And exhale, lift the frontal hip bones up and knit those floating ribs in. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Now let's do the other side. Bring the big toes to touch. Inhale that left leg up in a three-legged downwards facing dog. Now take notice if that hip is starting to open, just roll that left outer hip down and left inner thigh up. One more breath in, kicking back through that left heel. Now as you exhale with control, draw the left knee to the nose, round the back, shift the gaze forward, step the left foot forward, and lower the knee down, Anjaneyasana, as you breathe in, reach the arms up, overhead. And be 
just set ourselves up the way that we did on the other side. So make sure those outer hips are hugging in. You want stability in the pelvis. If you notice the lower belly collapsing, draw that lower belly in. Now bend the front knee so you have your knees stacked above the ankle and just breathe. When you're ready to arms up, shift the gaze up and lift through that upper back. One more breath in and then as you breathe out, twist. So move from the navel, arms out to a T or hand the front knee. Look all the way back to that left hand. Move the shoulders away from the ears here. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Look forward, windmill the hands to the floor. Tuck the back toes under. Keeping the sternum reaching forward. Step the left foot back to plank pose. And now we move through a vinyasa. Push forward to the tippy toes. Bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale. Upwards facing dog, and then exhale into down dog. Descending the heels and breathing. Good, knit the ribs in, engaging. And really feel yourselves energizing from the base of the body, the hands and the feet. One more, breathe in and breathe out. So this is the flow progression. We're gonna add to those two postures and continue to flow. So feet together, inhale the right leg up. As you exhale, knee to nose, step the foot forward. Anjaneyasana, knee down, inhale, arms up. Now as you exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, reach forward, hand down. And as you exhale, tuck the back toes under and lift the back knee off the floor and begin to look up to that right hand. See if you can roll the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale and exhale. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Broadening not just through the chest but through the back as well. Inhale and exhale. Now slowly release the right hand to the floor. Come up to the fingertips. I want you to slightly bend that back knee. With that back knee slightly bent, Go ahead and reach the sit bones all the way to that back heel, and then using the strength of the legs and the core, slowly rise up, high crescent lunge. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. And just like your Anjanayasana, you want to be really stable through the pelvis, hugging the outer hips in, and still lifting that lower belly up. One more breath here, and then slowly release, hands down, and just step the foot back to plank. Take a breath in plank pose, and then lift the hips up, downwards facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Now let's do the other side. Left leg lifts up on the inhale, and as you exhale, draw that left knee to the nose. Step the foot forward, Knee down, Anjali Asana, arms up. Exhale, twist to face the left. And then reach forward, hand down. Tuck the back toes under. And then lift that left arm up, looking up towards the left fingertips. Now make sure that you express all the way to the tips of the fingers. And shift the gaze up, add a hint of a smile. Inhale, and exhale. One more here. Rolling the shoulders away from the ears, breathe in and breathe out. And then release, hands down. Come up to the fingertips, add a little bit of a back, a bend rather on the back knee. Lengthen the sit bones towards that back heel. And then slowly come up. Legs strong, core engaged, frontal hip bones lifting, lower belly lifting up. Ooh, high crescent lunge. Breathe here, inhaling and exhaling. If you notice, my back knee is still slightly bent so that I'm not jamming my lower back the way that uh, it happens when I straighten the back leg. So I slightly bend the knee, lengthen through the low back, and look up. Inhale, and then exhale. Release the hands down and step into the plank. Now move through a vinyasa, chaturanga. Up dog, 
and then down dog. Breathing in and breathing out. Descend the heels. Inhale and exhale. Knit the frontal ribs or the, uh, knit the ribs in. Lift the frontal hip bones. One more. Breathe in and breathe out. Now we're going to add a little bit more to that. Feet together. Inhale the right leg up. Three legged like down dog. Exhale, step the foot forward. Anjanayasana, breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, twist arms to a T. Inhale, reach forward, hand down. Exhale, knee up, reach the right arm up. Now slowly lower the right hand down, bend the knee a little bit, and inhale, high lunge. Now as you exhale, Swing the arms behind you and interlace those fingers. See if you could, with a breath in, lift the chest up, 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 up. And then exhale and bend that front knee and lower the ribs. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Nice, now reach the arms up overhead, trying to keep that balance. And just open up to warrior two as you exhale, arms out to the peak, gazing forward over the right fingertips. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, inhale and exhale. Very nice. Now windmill the hands down. Step the right foot back, sternum forward, plant pose, and then down dog. Hips up to the sky. Inhale and exhale. And then let's do the other side. Feet together. Left leg lifts up. Breathe in. On the breath out, step the foot forward lightly. Knee down. Inhale the arms up. On the exhale, twist to face the left. Now inhale, reach forward. Hand down. Exhale. Knee up, left arm up to a twist. Now slowly release, fingertips to the ground, bend the back knee a little, lift up to a high lunge, arms reach up overhead. Now swing your arms behind you, interlace the fingers. Opposite thumb on top. With an inhale, heart lifts up. With an exhale, sit a little deeper and draw those ribs in. Breathe in and breathe out. Now inhale, arms up. On the exhale, right heel down. See if the back toes can point in a little bit. Then the front knee warrior two. Lift the frontal hip bones up. And again, see if you could descend the buttock bones. And still breathe here. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale. As you exhale, windmill the hands down. Heart forward, step it back, plant pose, move through your vinyasa. We all meet in down dog. And I want for you to really feel that nice and soothing feeling of being in down dog and really grounding here. Inhale and exhale. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Now let's add on to that. Inhale the right leg up. As you exhale, step the foot forward. Anjaneyasana, arms up, breathe in. Breathe out, twist. Inhale, reach forward, hand down. And then exhale, lift the arm up. Now slowly lower the right hand down, bend the back knee. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring the arms back. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Inhale, release arms up. Exhale, warrior two. And then inhale, straighten the front leg and give that quad a break. Now as the arms extend, look back to the left hand and see if you could bump the hips towards the left. So you're really creating a deep crease on that right hip. Now reach forward. When there's nowhere else to reach, right hand down. 
and then send the left arm up. Now make sure on that right leg, you're not hyperextending, so always add a micro bend and just really lift that kneecap up and just stay here. Uti Tatrikonasana Triangle Pose. Breathing in and breathing out. And again, any hint of a smile will help. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Now shift the gaze down. Bend the front knee. Warrior two. Flip your palm. Reverse the warrior, reaching that right arm all the way back and sit into that right hip a little bit more as you bend that right knee. Inhale, and as you exhale, windmill the hands down. We'll just step it back to plank, sternum forward, right foot back, frontal hip bones lifting up, and then down dog, hips up to the sky. Inhale, and exhale. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Let's do the other side. Left leg lifts up, inhale. On the exhale, knee to nose, step the foot forward. Knee down, Anjali Asana, arms up. As you exhale, twist. Reach forward, hand down. Knee up, left arm up, look up. And then release left hand down, bend the back knee, inhale, arms up, high lunge. Exhale, bring your arms behind you, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, to warrior two, knee down, or heel down rather, and then straighten the left leg. Now from here, Bump the hips towards the right. Reach as far as you can with that left hand and slowly lower the left hand down. Right arm reaches up towards the sky. And same thing, you wanna keep a micro bend on that front leg. You're lifting the kneecap, engaging the quad, which is in front of your thigh. And as you reach through that right arm, see if you can roll the shoulders away from the ears and breathe. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now look down at that left foot and rise up to warrior two. Flip the palm, inhale and reverse. So really breathing into that left side body. Inhale, and exhale. One more, breathe in. And as you breathe out, windmill the hands down. Step the left foot back. Plant pose, sternum forward, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale to your Adho Svanasana, downwards facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. Now check up on yourself, take notice of your breath. Make sure to engage the arms here. Keep those legs nice and strong. And just do some self-inquiry. How am I feeling right now? And just see if you could, as much as you can. Just really breathe and move with the flow. Let's add a little bit more. Okay, right leg up, inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot forward. Knee down, inhale, Anjali Asana. Exhale to twist. Inhale to reach forward, hand down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, hand down. Exhale to ground. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, swing your arms behind you, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, sit a little deeper. Inhale, rise up. Arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, reach. Inhale, Uti Tatrikonasana Triangle. Now look down, bend the front knee, exhale, warrior two. Flip the palm, inhale, reverse. Now as you exhale, reach your right hand all the way to the inside of that right foot. You can be on your fingertips or forearm to thigh. Don't rely 
and rest on your right shoulder this way. Lift up and engage. So you can be here or right here. Left arm up, palm faces the front of the room, and then extend, very nice. Breathing as you try to really open up the heart. And see if you can scoop that right hip down and under and breathe here, side angle. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna move into the lizard pose. Hands down to the floor, both of them to the inside of the right foot. And see if you can actually heel toe your foot a little to the right edge of the mat. And then pop up to the back tippy toes and bring that heart forward here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now we'll add on to this as well. Lower the right knee down. Feel free to uncurl the right toes or left toes rather. And just see if you can lift up onto the fingertips. Bring the chest up, smile through the collarbones. I'll give you an option. You can stay right here and just enjoy the stretch or lower the left hand down. Reach your right arm back, bend the knee, and grab a hold of the foot. Now once you have a hold of the foot, see if you can kick the foot back into the hand and open up the chest. And breathe here, three and two and one, slowly releasing. Hand down, foot down, toes tuck under. Find your way to plant pose. Step the right foot back, sternum forward, down dog. And one last side, left leg up, inhale. On the exhale, step the foot forward, anjaneyasana, and the knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to twist. Inhale, reach, hand down. Exhale, lift up. Now inhale, other hand down. Bend the back knee a little. Exhale to ground. Take your time. Now inhale, come up. On the exhale, swing the arms back. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, sit deeper. Now breathe in, arms up. And breathe out, warrior to Virabhadrasana. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, reach. Inhale, Uttita Trikonasana. Look up. Exhale, look down, warrior two. Flip the palm, inhale, reverse the warrior. And then exhale, reach. You can have your fingertips on the inside of the foot or the forearm resting on that left side, side angle pose. From here, make sure you create a straight line from that right foot all the way to the tips of the fingers. And breathe in and breathe out. Now that left buttock, scoop it under and breathe here. Make sure that right inner ankle is engaged as well. Three and two. And one, release. Hand down. Now heel toe the foot to the left. Place both hands on the inside of that foot. And then come up to the right tippy toes. Lizard pose. Breathe in. And then lower the knee down. Point the toes back. You can come up onto your fingertips. Enjoy the stretch. Or if you want to, right palm down. Reach your right arm back. Grab a hold of your foot with your right hand and then begin to kick the foot back and just open up through the front of the body. Inhaling and exhaling, smiling through the collarbones and breathing space into the chest and slowly release. You can now find your way back to plank pose. We're moving through one last Vinyasa, tuck the toes under, left foot back. Plank, Chaturanga. As you exhale, inhale to up dog, and exhale to downwards facing dog. Descending the heels here as you breathe three, and two, and one. Slowly lower the knees to the earth. 
and sit your hips down. Balasana, child's pose. Then you can roll yourself up to seated. All right. Let's lower the hips down now to one side for a really quick cool down. Just to get that heart rate to go down a little bit. So you can find your way to Dandasana, your staff pose. Hands alongside the hips, feet flexed. Feel free to bend the knees if you have tight hamstrings. And then reach the arms up. Inhale. And as you exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Breathing in as you lengthen the spine and really pull the heartstrings forward. And as you breathe out, feel everything descending. And slowly rise up. You see that. Okay, it's coming to bound ankle pose. Bring the feet together, knees bent, and just slowly open up the knees. And you can hold your feet. You can even open the feet like the pages of a book if you'd like to. So make sure the outer creases of the feet are touching. Heart lifts up, shoulders away from ears. Inhale and exhale forward. Again, breathe in, pull those heartstrings forward. Try to keep the back nice and long. And whatever length you create with your breath in, see if you can take it all the way down. Just as low as your body permits you. And then we inhale and rise up. Bring the knees to touch. Step the feet forward and see if you can scoot to the center of your mat if you're not there. Arms reach forward. You can always hold on to the backs of your thighs if you'd like to. And slowly lower yourself down. Good. Scoot forward if you need to some more. Bring the knees into the chest. And then just give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Up an asana, even rocking from side to side. Inhale here. And exhale. Now let's get ready for a nice spine twist. You can take your left arm out to the side. Right hand to the outer left knee. Inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and bring both knees to the right. Shift your knees to your left. Close your eyes. And just be here and breathe. And we take this back to center. Inhale. Switch sides. Right arm out. Left hand to the right outer knee. Inhale first. And exhale. Twist. Now go ahead and take this back to center. On an inhale. And as you exhale, let's get ready for a really quick shavasana, right? So we let the legs reach up and slowly lower the legs down with control as you open up the palms and shimmy the shoulders under. Now take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth. Ha! Ah, and sigh it out. Feel the thumb off the roof of the mouth and soften the gaze underneath the eyelids. Allow yourself to rest here for less than a minute, a little less than a minute. Shavasana.
stay here a little longer if you wish to, if you want a longer Shavasana, just go ahead and pause the video and just take a longer one. Otherwise, if you're in a little bit of a rush, go ahead and wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. And with a big inhale, reach the arms up, point the toes forward, take a nice body on, and then bend both knees, knees to chest, rocking from side to side. And you can go ahead and roll over to your right side, resting the head on the bicep, just taking a quick fetal position here so that we allow ourselves to slowly come up to see hmm. Now with the help of that left hand, push up. And find a seated position to end your practicing. Taking an easy seat, Sukhasana. Hands resting on the knees, sitting up nice and tall. And I invite you to bring your palms together in front of your heart. Bow the forehead down to the fingertips. Go back to your intention and take a moment to lift that intention up. Now to close our practice today, let's go ahead and take full breath cycles. Three really nice, soothing, relaxing and grounding inhales and exhales. As you breathe in, reach the arms up. Hands the heart, breathe out. Inhale, arms up. Hands the heart, exhale. And one more time, inhale, arms up. And exhale, your hands to your heart, center. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope that short sequence helped ground you, energize you, and I hope that it sets the tone for your day today. Thank you for letting me lead you through your practice. Namaste.